Hello and welcome. In this short video I'd like to go through and demonstrate the process I use to upgrade Media Center from uh, one major version to the next. I have a copy of version 22 installed which is refusing to start There we go. So if we do help about this is version 22.0.110 which I believe was the latest and last version of version 22. Since version 23 has come out you can pay for an upgrade and get the latest version. Um, I won't go and discuss or won't go into any detail about um, the new versions that come out from Media Center um, but it, briefly when they first come out with a new major version it's often a little unstable a little buggy but the um, development life, life cycle they use means that this improves over time so you may not want to upgrade as soon as a new version, a new major version comes out, you may just want to wait a few weeks. Um, but it is easy to move between the two um, should you wish to tr be an early adopter. The installation of a new major version can pick up the configuration that you have and can move all your configuration items across, keep your database but it doesn't always work. One situation where it never works is if you don't run Media Center as an administrator on Windows. I don't, I use it as a power user account and when you run the upgrade it doesn't migrate any of the features. But this is easily dealt with by doing a library backup. So I will do a backup and convenience, for convenience I'll put it on the desktop. So this is now backed up my library. This is my configuration. It's a little bit, I've done some configuration to it. The, the biggest thing, I've, um, the most obvious thing I've done is change the skin. But I have changed some of the options and I've changed the, um, the toolbar across the top. So, one thing we need to check is if we are moving to a new major version is Tools, Options, Startup and Run on Windows Startup, nothing. If you have two versions of Media Center installed they will fight, one version will get loaded before the other and they want to update Windows settings as to which is the current player so if you are wanting to run two different versions or if you are going through the upgrade process the version that you currently have make sure that it, it is not set to start when Windows starts and you can then uh, potentially run them manually should you need them and this will stop them uh, competing with each other when you have two versions installed so I've done a backup, I've checked it's not set to start on Windows Start, I shall now exit. There's my backup file. This is the latest version of Media Center 23. I shall run this. It'll prompt me for an admin user's credentials because it wants to make changes to the system. There we go. Terms and conditions, express is fine. File associations, default ones are fine. And J River version 23 has been installed. But if I look, oh, 
there's the annoying countdown timer. So let's make sure that doesn't run by stopping that. Um, if I look under audio, I have no music, I have no files. So it hasn't picked up the settings from version 22. This is easily rectified with file, library, restore library. I shall browse. I put it on the desktop somewhere. Library backup. I open that file. Now, two settings to pay attention to here. Um, I want to restore library and playlists and I want to restore the settings. Make sure that's what you want to do if you have both of those ticked because you could overwrite some of your settings. So Just double check you've got that set to do what you want it to do before you click OK. It only takes a second, it's restored the library, it's going to restart You'll see I now have some audio, I have some music files back, the toolbar is customised, it doesn't pick up the skin. Does the skin make it across? No, the skin isn't part of the backup. So I'll go back to my skins folder, go into the black and blue USB folder. that should import the skin into Media Center version 23 view skin and there it's now appeared so I now have upgraded to version 23.0.22 and I have kept my library and all my configuration items and it just took a couple of seconds to um, load the skin into version 23. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.